I'm looking for uh, a beer. If you drink it, it turns a grown man into a woman. You got anything like that? Yeah, I got Bud Light back there. Mm -hmm. Is it on sale? Oh, You're not yeah. out of it, are you? Nope. You got tons. It's 80% off. 80% off tons? Of told it. me to go in here and um, there was some beer he couldn't sell, but that was the beer. Here it is, guys. Bro, this is how desperate Budweiser is. They had Walmart move their products right to the front entrance of Walmart. Walmart. And look. And look. And look. Right by the cups, not a single package taken. A lot of people say they will not support any candidate that is not standing up to fight against woke corporations. That is what I've seen recently. But there is this lady I saw. She said something that we have been singing on social media that bought like lost billion. It's a lie. A Republican governor ran an ad to slam Bud Light. People thought it was from SNL. In an attempt to own the libs, she ran this anti-trans, anti-Bud Light ad. America presents Real Women of Politics. That people actually thought was a bit for a late night comedy show. Real Women. Doing real things. The ad features Sanders' real women of politics. <sighs> Which includes herself, Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, who's going to war over books, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds, who has signed off on a slew of anti-trans bills, and South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, who recently shared at an NRA convention that her two-year-old grandchild has... The ad then shows stock videos of what Sanders says are real women <laughs> doing real things. Which appear to include packaging fish, fishing, and hunting. But wait there's more. Sanders has also taken the opportunity to promote her Real Women of Politics koozies. Real Women of Politics koozie. Real Women of Politics. Which are essentially beer cozies, perfect for hiding that you're drinking that Bud Light you desire so much at the next tailgate or the backyard barbecue. That was hilarious. Is that from SNL? One user on Twitter wrote. Maybe last week tonight, John Oliver, did you get to slip this in? Trans influencer. And as we've debunked in another video, no. Bud Light's parent company did not lose billions after the boycott as conspiracies run wild. She now attribute that to conspiracy, even with the facts that I've seen, articles I've read from the mainstream media, statistics. I don't know if the mainstream media is now publishing conspiracy theories. What exactly is she talking about? The corporate press has finally taken notice. Bud Light is in dire straits and Anheuser-Busch is getting hit bad. The Anheuser-Busch boycott is working. It's intensifying. And uh, I can only imagine that there are some people at Bud Light going as their sales tank year over year. Axios and NBC News, major corporate press now taking notice. More personalities making videos, shooting guns at Bud Light. And even a smaller personality based out of Las Vegas saying, let's see if people actually care about this. And he is shocked. I love this clip. He's like, I can't believe this city cares about this. In Vegas, people aren't buying Bud Light. Wow, man. We got a lot to, to break down. I decided to play this short video so you can see exactly what is happening. Tim Poo actually did an analysis an article published by NNBC, and from that article, I realized what this lady said at the beginning of this video is all lie. She is the one passing out conspiracy theories. The boycott is effective. Taking a look at this article, consumers are outraged after this cosmetic paste trans woman Dylan to murder it makeup boycott Maybelline. That is what I've seen recently training on Twitter. Going down on this article, the IRA of consecutive consumer has now focused on makeup brand for partnering with trans woman and biological Maybelline for a recent makeup ad to celebrate Dylan gender transitions and to promote Maybelline Makeup, the brand collaborated with a TikTok star on a video featuring the trans woman applying several Maybelline products. Dylan posted the ad to her TikTok account last month. Now consecutive are looking to boycott Maybelline for the same thing. I believe by now you have noticed what is happening. This article is from Fox News and when you look through the article you will see now they refer to this guy as a she. 
This is a clear sign you need to just understand. And this is one of the reasons you saw with Mad Watch. He was recently been demonetized because he always struggled to misgender him. So I don't know if one has to say kum, you know, to follow the rules. I saw this with Daily Me and now I'm seeing the same thing with Fox News. Welcome to both of you. And Dean, you know, the, Bud could have just doubled down and said, no, this is what we're doing. We're, we're trying to reach this next generation now. Uh, they seem to have gotten hit kind of both ways here. Absolutely. Well, you know, the purpose of a brand is to unite people and bring them together as a sense of community. Instead, we have a branding crisis that's created a rainbow of hell for itself. So you have to ask what assumptions were being made, because assumption is the almighty mother of mistakes. And clearly a major mistake has been here. Not being pro-LGBTQ by a long shot, not at all. But there's assumptions that's been made, mistakes have been made in the planning and the research and direction of what they've done here. That's been a calamity for the brand in terms of the success that it has not had. So we have a stock that's you know, dropped. We've had a market share that's going to decline potentially and revenues that can tank. So it's a real crisis. So instead of denying, delaying, deflecting and defending the situation, this is really about the best defense as an offense. And what else, what other bags in the, you know, what other tricks in the bag do they have? Because my concern here is, was this the only campaign you were launching for the summer? I mean, isn't there somebody in the room with the millions of dollars you spend on marketing, advertising and research that might have put their hand up saying, this is bold, this is ambitious, but we might actually alienate some of our other core customers. Mm -hmm. So it's knowing your customer, knowing your brand and getting it right and not taking crazy risks. That is beautiful. This is an advice. This is a mainstream media not taking crazy risks. And they are seeing the consequences of the crazy risks. You will see some people standing up on TikTok. I don't know if they are being paid to be doing that to say there is no loss in revenue. Nothing has affected Bud Light. You are making Bud Light to make more money. Totally insane. When I see people standing up to say this, I will just look at you with different eyes. Because if you are following up the trend, struggling to track down what is happening, knowing the truth, you will not say that. Somebody said yesterday, oh, we should forget about covering this topic about Dylan Boyd Light. We cannot forget about this. This is essential. I started following this every single day. I bring out just a single video so people can see what is happening with the company. If I stop this, maybe you will not even see situations like this. I continue to cover different topics while bringing one video per day to update you on what is happening. I don't know why this person was offended because we covering this or what. I went through the comment section and I saw that. And I did not want to reply to the person because sometimes when you see some of this comment, it's just to ignore. We should not ignore this. If I stop talking about this, you might be thinking that the boycott is over, which is not. Reason we are covering it. The mainstream media will not cover, so we should do it. But I'm liking what is what I'm seeing. This is a mainstream media now covering what is happening. Two states at ultrarightbeer.com. Oh, I'm a businesswoman. The corporations we across America.